This is who I really am. Not happy. As I ponder over the news, my tattered head itches. It itches for more. I want to see more out of these Republicans. I watch Chris Salcedo. Chris Salcedo. I love the guy. I actually love him. He asked the tough questions that needed to be asked. Oh. Those people pretty much failed in my eyes. For they had not locked it down on what it is that they feel like they're supposed to do. Now, as a patriot in a barren torn land, I don't want to hear anything about they're ready to fight because whoever didn't fight before, they're sure not going to fight now. They're not going to do it. I told my husband earlier, I don't trust any of them. Not the one. I know it's not a good thing, but it's my inter, inter. Any people that have failed the American people, well, the blame will never go directly to the Democrats. It goes to the Republicans as well because they sat there and they were complacent in this ignorance that has taken our country backwards. They took us backwards. We don't believe anything you say unless you walk it like you talk it. One person, one person I've seen, and that's Marjorie, when she put the paper into the shredder and shredded up the fine to pay Nancy, well, Nancy Pelosi's. What did Nancy Pelosi, whatever her name is, wanted everyone to wear a mask, even after the CDC said that it was not necessary. Anywho, that's not enough, Marjorie. You and Gates, we love you. We appreciate you, but we want more. We don't want the rhetoric. We don't want the shenanigans. We want action, like right now. Even though you refuse to wear a mask, you guys need to make sure that every election forensic inside out shall begin right now in Pennsylvania, in Atlanta, all over the place. We need to make sure that we had a fair and honest election. Because they have used one day against all of us, all of us, the American people, the megas, the everybody, the patriots, we're all, we've been classified into one group and we are pretty much livid. You guys were wrong for letting them label us. If you don't figure this out because we already know you must remove that label. You must make the American people see that this was a farce. Just like the plan that we got. This whole thing was a farce. And it was to protect what was taken from the American people. And we all know this. We all know this. Until they back it up and change every wording of that when Ashley Babbitt left her life on the floor of the Congress. 
She is no longer with us and we love her and we want her vindicated. She did not bust that window. She only went through and she came in peace to have her voice heard. I want to know how is this the insurrection that they say when Antifa and Boogaloos and all kinds of doogadoos were wrapped up into this whole thing and I want it investigated properly. Anyone that says that it is what it is, it is not what it is until the investigation is done. If you guys will to show us that you're not willing to fight for a name, for a dignity, and who we really are as a country. We love our country. We would never bust down walls and break down windows. It's not what we do. We love America, and you know it, and I know it, and we don't trust you unless you show it. Change the wording of January the 3rd. It is not the truth. It is not the whole truth. It is everything but. Until then, you guys struggle and you battle against one another and you could say what you need and what won't happen for us in 2022. We will figure it out when we get there. Right now, we're trying to heal our families and heal ourselves and ask God for help. And you guys still want to pluck every hair out of our body. We have no room left for you. You better show us what you're going to do or then you suffer the consequences because the Democrats are wrong. Hold them accountable now. Or we will be left in this position that we're in because no one, your, your, uh, rallies and things like that. We care less. And I'm sure a bunch of dips will go to these rallies. But listen to me, patriots. If you do, you are going to rule in everything that we fought for. We owe them nothing. I love my Uncle Donald, but he knows my heart. And my heart is broken. United we stand. No rallies. They're already ripping our speech and everything else. Why would you go to a rally and then you're going to be crying about what they have taken from you? Until then, do what you do. Because real patriots wait on the Lord. And we will not be out there lifting up flags or anything else. We don't have to prove it anymore. Ashley Babbitt proved it for us. Rawr!